Welcome Virgo, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of April the 20th to the 27th, 2020. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to these videos. Please be sure to click the bell button when you do subscribe because YouTube has their little robot randomly going around removing subscribers uh, that don't look like they're active and you may lose us and we may lose you so we don't want that to happen so whenever you're watching any of your favorite videos and YouTube creators be sure to check below that video where it says subscribe that you are and that that little bell that says all that looks like it's ringing is the one that you have picked as the option and that way you look active okay and you won't get uh, you won't get uh, removed from the site. Okay, because so many of us have noticed that our subs have gone down and uh, we found out through this re, uh, you know, restructuring that this is happening to a lot of us and we don't want to see that happen. This is a general reading as you know and that means that not every single card or the energy that it carries will resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it. And if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful Virgos, is listed below this, this video in the information box. A simple email to me can start this process moving forward if you desire a private reading. Okay, I am doing the traditional Celtic cross spread here and that includes, you know, uh, the, the card crossing over your reading here and I have been doing uh, my rendition of it in the past but I decided to do the actual uh, spread here and this is, you know, the central issue, the crowning energy here and then what's crossing over this energy, what's coming in below you, above you, from behind you and towards you. Also, you know, where you are right now, your, uh, you know, your environment, what's causing you, what's the energy around you, what are your hopes and fears, and then the final outcome card here for your reading uh, with the tarot reading. And now with the tea leaf message, you're getting one of those. And of course, in conclusion, a focus message from me. So we're starting off with the all over energy of the beautiful, beautiful Empress. And this is telling me that it's you're, you're going to step up and you're going to act on your plans. You're stepping forward right now. And, you know, the Empress has that ability to, you know, uh, realize that she can grow by cooperating with the people around her. And, you know, you're going to be creative and you're going to be able to do this. And by being creative, that's what brings you in your great uh, abundance, tapping into those resources by being creative and you'll get rewarded for that. So step up into your power here. Realize that you can make what you want come true. It's not the magician and she's not the emperor, but she, she sits just before and below the emperor who does everything logical and he takes command and he's in charge and he's the boss she knows that if she wants to become strong like that she taps into her creativity and that's what you're going to be doing now crossing over that reading you've been given the two of pentacles and this is about maybe taking on more than you can handle biting off more than you can chew wearing many different hats going here and there and skelter and skelter and you need to stay focused Okay, you need to stay balanced, uh, basically. So make out a priority list if you're running in a 50 million different directions because, and then you're finding that nothing's getting completed or done. But I also read this card as two choices, two decisions, two, uh, two options coming in and two opportunities. And you'll be able to make the decision and make that choice, uh, you know, very soon. And don't get stressed out about it, okay? Coming in below you, you've been given the temperance and the temperance is all about taking your time. It's about moderation. It's about cooperation. It's about compromise, okay? And it's about being objective. So when you're working with other people and you're, uh, and you're communicating with other people this week, know that, you know, compromise is coming into the equation, 
Okay, you won't get 100% of what you want, but the offer may be good and both parties can be happy or everybody uh, that is involved in it. I want you to s express some patience and some self-control during these trying times. I know it's difficult. We want everything done yesterday, but right now with the way our world is, that's not possible. So just wait it out, okay? And it, be careful with how you're communicating with people. Don't jump into situations and react and then afterwards regret things that were said and done. Okay, so forgiveness and healing energy are mentioned here when it comes to the temperance card as well. Coming in above you, the energy uh, coming in above you is the King of Swords, a King of Michael. And this is about you, again, tapping into being objective here when you're dealing and communicating with anybody this week. And stay, stand in your own integrity, though. Don't back down. Don't allow someone to uh, burst your balloons and rain on your parade. When you, when you can stand in your integrity, you're standing in your truth and your value. And this this situation wants you to stand in that part of your power and also to be honest and open when you're communicating with others okay and we talked about that here with the temperance card we talked about that here with the empress card there's a lot of communication going on this week i see with some of you and i do see that you will have to you know stand your guard and put your foot down when it comes to certain uh people around you that you're dealing with um, but you're going to be able to do it in uh, in an understanding manner okay you're not going to wield that sword and then later on regret uh, things you said and you did now coming in behind you and this is usually a past tense this is about you realizing uh, that you need to make changes here for the better and that you're moving on in a new direction now you're still in the process of trying to plan this out okay and that means that you know you want to move on but you're not 100 percent sure exactly when and where it's going to happen um, and because where we are again in our world things are at a, at a standstill but I do see that you're going to work this out and you need to be balanced and align yourself up so make out your priority list you know uh, figure out what it is you want to do and start checking them off and go down that list while you're preparing to make this move um, you know and know that there's something better coming in towards you at this time okay so I do see some of you are looking towards this is almost like a spiritual quest a new part of your journey uh, and many of us are tapping into that our spirituality more than ever uh, with the way the world is we need to step up into that power our higher power and realize that there is a higher power out there that we can tap into and use those resources to make ourselves make the right decisions and be stronger coming in towards you reason to celebrate so when you do your work okay and you realize that you know you're going to get along with people and be creative when you do that when you're communicating and compromise coming in planning that direction you're going to go and standing in your power what you know and it's going to be a time for you to celebrate uh you know it's all because of the hard work that you're putting into some sort of event or effort now okay passion of yours that you're going to see uh you know your rewards coming in. I want you to let go of any troubles, burdens, worries, okay, any of those things, uh, regrets, resentments, let them go. Throw them out into the bloody universe and let them go once and for all because it's only going to hold you back to believe that you're going to see this success coming in. And this success could be in business. It could be in relationships. It could be in, in our families. Maybe there's going to be a child coming into the, into the family. And I do see, you know, uh, the world is cleansing itself, Mother Nature, and but there's going to be new birth coming in all the time. So I do see that you're going to have reason to celebrate uh, many different things for some of you and you know maybe some of the above for others now where are you now well you've been given the card empowerment <clears throat> excuse me and empowerment makes sense right now when you had the all over energy of the empress so the moment for respect for life and all living things attuning to nature and to the creatures of our earth is at hand and we're all realizing that every one of us at this time with what's going on this was a huge wake-up call to all of us that we can't be ego-driven and we can't be uh, we can't be greedy anymore. Okay, it isn't all about uh, the almighty dollar anymore. It's about trying to save ourselves to survive in the next generations after us. But I do see that you know you're going to step up into that. Each and every one of us are, is going to step up into this empowerment. 
Tune into the deep well of compassion that spills over readily to anyone who needs your help at this time. And we're doing that. We are helping out others. We're finding that we can dig deep into our resources and our extra uh, overflow of abundance to help and share with other people. You're being directed to take action to remove difficulties and resolve any problems around you. Be receptive to guidance from wherever it happens to come. Don't be surprised to receive support from unusual areas and avenues coming towards you. Be alert to seemingly random input, which will give you clues and ideas that had not occurred to you before. Once you have picked up these signs, pursue them diligently and with determination. The potential for them to pay off is immense. As soon as you know what action to take, take it. And you're doing that. We talked about you moving forward here. Okay, you're not quite there. We talked about you stepping up here with the power and the wisdom of being objective with the King of Swords. So you are moving forward in a, in a brand new direction and it's powerful for you right now. It's beautiful. Now, this is uh, basically your environment that you're in. So what have we got here? We've got stuck in the mud. I don't believe that. Let's see what we've got. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. And, and that's coming in with the temperance card down here below. So in fact, this is a, you know, a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you to even muddier places. So if it's not working out, find a new path, find a new way of doing things. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. And again, we go back to the temperance card, moderation taking time. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now be still and know that spirit has plans for you. So this is about you making the moves that you have to make, but taking your time, okay? Not rushing. As I, you've heard me say this numerous times, don't rush in and jump into the quicksand and then try to figure out later how the heck you're going to get yourself out of that mud. Okay, so take your time when you're moving forward in this new direction. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, stay, uh, stay, stand in your power. Stand in your integrity and your truthfulness. What are your fears and your hopes right now? Well, you've been given surrender to the wisdom of your body. Pay attention. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, then move forward. So this is about you standing in your truth again, standing in your integrity, being, uh, you know, um, objective when you're dealing with anybody and, and creative, um, but also listening to the signs that you're seeing, okay? Uh, if it doesn't feel good, don't go there. Uh, or if it's about your own personal body, watch for the signs in your own body. How are you projecting yourself out into the universe with your body language, the way you speak, the way you look, the way you project yourself? And how we feel about ourselves inwardly is what we project out into the world. So if you love yourself and you, and you, and you like how you feel and you look and, and how you look at the world in a beautiful, positive way, you throw that out there. And you know what? It comes bouncing so fast back at us. It helps us project our lives and move forward in a positive direction. So pay attention to how you're coming across to other people. Okay. Now, what is the outcome to this reading? What is the outcome? Well, you've been given the beautiful card, listen to your own intuition. So you know what? Your intuition is completely reliable and accurate right now at this time. So listen to it. Listen to your own inner guidance and you can't go wrong. You can be certain that the messages you're receiving from your angels and your divine are really trustworthy at this time and they're real. Have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing. Your insights into other people and their true feelings or motives are perfectly accurate. And there's no need to question what you know the truth is. Okay? And you're standing in your truth. You're standing in your integrity, as I said here, with this king. Okay? You're stepping into your power. You're going to make those right choices and decisions. But take your time. Okay? Don't take on more than you can handle. Because you do know that you're moving in a new direction. And when you do, you're going to have reason to celebrate. Absolutely fantastic. So, listen to your own intuition. Trust yourself where you're going. Okay? 
Now, your first Letterman card here is the child, and this could refer to uh, tapping into your own inner child and realizing that you need to have some fun and happiness and feel the joy again. Uh, the stress, let go of the stress and do this. For others, there may be a new child coming into you, to the family circle, a beautiful child, could be a female or a male energy, um, a beautiful soul, but also you may be uh, participating and dealing with children and working with children this week or in the near future. You've got that crafty, sneaky fox. And this fox has the ability, as I say, to lay in his lair uh, during the daylight and then sneak in after dark and find that little rabbit hole and get those chicken's eggs. So be careful of someone who might be sneaking around. Uh, they may be watching you from the sidelines and from the shadows. And be careful that you are protecting what is closest to you. Okay, don't allow uh, any of, uh, you know, any of this to come into play. All you have to do is be aware of protecting what is closest to you right now. You're going to receive good news because this is the letter and this is the beautiful letter that comes in. She rides on the carousel. She carries her bag. She's happy. She's going over the rainbow. I mean, this is very good news coming in the form. It could be in a letter, a parcel, an email, a text, uh, you know, a telephone call. <clears throat> the book. The book means a lot of things. Doing things by the book, making sure that you're doing things correctly and accurately, okay, so that you don't uh, mess up and you don't have to go back and correct things. It can also be you may be thinking of finally writing a book. Uh, you may be journaling. You may be blogging. Um, you, um, you may be reading books, okay. You may be going back to school to take a new form of study. Now, with your tea leaf message, what did you get? You got the whale. Great worry over nothing. So you know what? Take heed. Pay attention. You don't have to worry, okay? Because this reading shows me that things are going to work out in your favor. Just be careful. Uh, you know, protect what is closest to you. Maybe it's your children. Be careful. Okay, protect your children at all costs. Uh, if it is to do with your children, if it has to do with finances, if you need to lock up certain information you don't want other people to find or know, uh, whatever it is, protect yourself because someone may be stealthily sneaking around, uh, you know, checking things out and uh, when you least expect it, they're going to steal it away from you. Be careful. Okay, that's the only cautionary card that I would say. Now, let's see what you need to focus on, Spirit. Please tell me what what they need to focus on today. What do they need to focus on? Thank you. Ask for assistance. So if there's something that you're not 100% sure of, okay, maybe you're going to be asking this king, okay? This king of water could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. You may be wanting some information from this individual who has the power to step up and give you the help and the information that you need. Okay, so that you can move forward. Uh, it could be here. Maybe you're asking someone who's, uh, you know, a mentor, a teacher, or somebody who has the information in the book and they can share that with you. Okay, that you need to do. So don't be afraid to ask for assistance at any time. Uh, it's out there. Uh, you know, do your research. It's there. You, you know, this is telling me that you can get it. All right. Now, that is your reading, as I said, for April the 20th to the 27th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. I'm making a lot of noise here, Virgo. Sorry. And, and never forget, okay, I always feel compelled to tell you this now at this time because we are in a very confusing time in our world and um, we need to hear this. Never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day, and never ever forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenges. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Blessings that you remain and stay healthy. Please play safe and be safe. See you soon.